What's up guys, it's Dre and Ben. We're missing Dave today because that dude's out partying somewhere or whatever <laughs> he's doing. But we are gonna go see if we can boil an egg in liquid nitrogen. Let's go do it. Okay, I'm going to add the Coke can into the nitrogen since we have a lot of it left, except this time we're gonna freeze it fully through. We're gonna leave it in there until it completely stops boiling at this point. It's boiling very vigorously. Extremely. You guys ever curious how to flash freeze a water bottle? If you ever want some cold water, all you need is a little bit of liquid nitrogen. Place your bottle in there. We're gonna wait as the crystals start to form. We're gonna pour it out and just check on it every few seconds. Yep. It is starting to form crystals, but now we're gonna leave it in there a little bit longer. And just let it do its thing. <clears throat> and it is boiling very vigorously because the water bottle was very room temperature. It looks like our water is still liquid. It's uh, freezing the plastic more than the water. Completely. at this point, but we're gonna leave it in there until it uh, hardens completely. That, that sounds absolutely insane. But it makes so much smoke. <laughs> oh, looks oh, like our Coca-Cola just rat. exploded. Oh, dang. Oh, look at that, guys. It's foaming into the nitrogen. I don't know if you can see this. So the Coca-Cola is foaming into the nitrogen and creating like a, a frozen Snow? foam. Like, oh. I'm gonna leave it in there just because. Oh man, this is crazy. That was very And uh, awesome. our water is actually completely solid at this point. Oh, oh. <laughs> maybe not. But we're gonna leave it in there a little bit longer. Wow, Woo! this just became messy real, real fast. Yeah. Slow motion. Oh yeah, Coke definitely gonna use it when it explodes. So we have this uh, liquid nitrogen foam. Hey, <laughs> look at that. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna attempt to eat it. So this is just uh, the foam that you would get in your normal Coke. So I'm gonna eat it. it. Tastes just like Coca Cola, except it burns your tongue a little bit <laughs> from the from the frost. Ah, probably not gonna eat more of this. Take out the Coca Cola can and uh, open it up. See what happens after it explodes and freezes all good. And how much nitrogen it used up right away. It's wow, fun. that was so fast. Okay, so this is still has fresh water in there. No, yeah, it's it's frozen. Frozen. So we'll take the Coke can out at this point. We'll shake all this extra stuff off real quick. Okay. Where did it explode? So here's our Coke can. Let's uh, inspect where the explosion occurred. So, oh, it exploded right, oh, right out of there. So it busted out the side, which is probably the weakest point, which makes sense. Let's take all these other chunks out. All right, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to smash the water first and see what happens with it. Straight up glass. Yeah. No, we act it actually makes sense. Very fine, fine substance, which is water. Yeah, I think the water, what happened is because of the like severe coldness of the liquid nitrogen, the water actually crystallized a lot more and it kept freezing over the normal freezing temperature. And so because of that, I think it crystallized a lot more. That's maybe why it's like that. Uh, or my other it's up, it's my other opinion is because of the pressure I put with the hammer and smashing it, uh, maybe I compressed it in there and then when it busted open, it already was all shattered into little pieces. So we'll see. The Coke yes. is a lot more frozen than from our previous experience. So I'm just gonna smash this. So Coke looks like it's doing the same effect, but now I'm gonna try to just pry it open like this. Wow. Looks like yeah, it's hollow on the inside because we didn't freeze it that much. Yeah, because it exploded. I mean, I think it'll still be hollow a little bit even if we did freeze it for a long time. So we just smashed the rest of it? <laughs> Definitely edible. Egg, it's not boiled or anything. I could show you if you want. Once it stops bubbling like that, I'm gonna take it out. We'll just let it boil in there. Um, we could probably throw some other items in there. We're gonna put in another egg here, so we can experiment with both of them. Okay. One of the eggs looks like it's cracked open. I'm gonna pull that out, just oh, to yeah. show you. Okay. So this egg looks like it's boiled, but I'll, uh, I'll leave it in there just so um, it completely, you know, freezes Rock. all the way through. Completely. Because it is yeah, still yeah. boiling, which means if, 
So basically with nitrogen, if something is boiling when you place it in there, it means the temperature of the item that you placed in there is not as cold as the nitrogen. When you see the bubbling less and the boiling less, that means the temperature is about equalized with the uh, temperature of the nitrogen. As you can see, the freshest egg we put in there is boiling a lot harder than that egg. I think we'll take one of the eggs out since we put two in there. Looks like the other egg is now cracked open as well. So while um, that one's gonna be cooking, we're gonna take this one. And we're gonna try to just uh, open it up, disassemble it, see what is inside this thing. So that opened fairly easily. Oh wow. Oh, I mean, we got, we got the what's yellow. crazy is when you boil the egg, the whites are yellow and the white, the clear part turns white. The yolk is, um, is still yellow and the clear part that normally is clear when the egg is raw also turned yellow even after liquid nitrogen. So is this technically the same as boiling an egg? Should I try it? What do you guys think? What we're gonna do instead of smashing it, we're just gonna drop them. Oops. Completely <laughs> fell apart. It just fell apart. That one will hit like a rock. Here, let's no, smash I wanna... it. Okay. Let's smash this a little bit. Ooh. Kind of like glass over here. Again. So it looks like Looks we're gonna have uh, eggs on this uh, backyard patio for a while. I'm going to pull out the second egg because as you can see, it's uh, pretty much not boiling at this point because it's the same temperature as the nitrogen. And it has also split open and it is definitely cooked. So instead of me trying to pry it open, I'm just gonna chuck it on the ground. Yep. And that's it. Anybody want some yolk? Look at that. You got the yolk. Anybody the... want some yolk? <laughs> yeah. We, here we have the yolk completely, yeah, the yolk is a completely different part of the egg, as it. you can see. Let me see if I can crush it. Nah. It's hard. Hard okay, slice. So, um, if you guys want to make your cleanup easier, I would suggest cleaning all your shit up. Uh, I mean, all your stuff up before the stuff defrosts. Because once it defrosts, like as you can see, the mandarins that we did, the very first item we did, is now defrosted and it's kind of becoming mushy and becoming messy. Yeah. So before the egg starts defrosting and going back into its liquid state and making a huge mess, we're going to clean all this stuff up and throw it in the trash because we definitely don't want to be washing this um, patio. It's easier to just pick this stuff up. Yep. I hear it crackling. Two. It's crackling. That's a really weird sound. Might as well. Paper towel doesn't freeze, I don't think. This looks like a cool smoke machine. Doesn't freeze. Yeah. Yeah, fries. <laughs> tomatoes are still like boiling like crazy. I think tomatoes are not done yet, see? Look at that, fully open. I can't, I want to try tasting these. Look, they're both open. Well, you could do that, I'm not. The whole thing. Still doing the thing. That's it. That's the whole batch. Oh, whoa, look at that. Whoa. It's split in half. Hey, what if we, if we uh, put on the potato chip? That's exactly what I said, but I didn't care. It's something, Dave. Ooh, he won't. Nothing? Yeah, I'm just, might as well eat it. It's not gonna do anything. It's just a chip. Oh, look at that, a quad. Mm. I'll smash it with the sledge. So right now we just added some milk into a cup and we put it in there. We're gonna see if it tastes more like, uh, if it turns hard um, and if it tastes more like an ice cream, milk, milk based ice cream. Look at the tomatoes, how frosty they are. As if it's not obvious enough, we are obviously filming the intro and the outro at the same time. It's just uh, darker outside now and cold, so we're not trying to go out there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs>
Comment down below. Give us new ideas. Anyways. Okay. Uh, next video, uh, Dave will be back uh, after he's imparting with some girls. Anyways, <laughs> we out of here. And also, remember to hit the bell icon to notify our next videos that come out. Okay?